IT Expo Miami 2009. Good morning and welcome. I'm Eric Lanass coming to you from Miami, Florida at IT Expo East 2009. I'm here this morning with Broadvox's Vi Vice President of Sales and Marketing, David Bird. Good morning, David. Good morning, Eric. I don't have to explain to you the, uh, <laughs> the obvious uh, focus and, and spotlight that's been on uh, SIP trunking lately. Um, uh, and I can only imagine that uh, that this economy has, uh, has has brightened that spotlight even even more so. Um, what are you seeing in the SIP trunking market, uh, sp and specifically how how's Broadbox been doing lately? Um, you know, in terms of uh, uh, customers and, and that kind of thing. Well, let's let's talk a little bit about the market first, and mm -hmm. then I'll I'll come back to Broadbox. Sure. Um, <clears throat> what we're seeing right now is are a lot of requests for quotes. Um, packages to look at, uh, examine existing uh, telecom spin, what it would be under SIP trunking. We're getting um, a number of VARs contacting us on a regular basis. I would say that the number of VARs that are contacting Broadvox on a per week basis has doubled in the last quarter. Um, the number of end users contacting us has also grown. So we've expanded our inside sales organization. Most of the end users have a, an asterisk type box and they're looking for um, three to six concurrent call sessions. So we usually handle those directly. Larger end users, enterprise level, large, middle, um, medium-sized businesses, those we send to our uh, external field organization to contact a VAR. So we're seeing a, a good push and growth there. Um, we've grown the business on the SIP trunking side by uh, four to five times over the last, this time period last year. And uh, that's been uh, extraordinary to see. Broadbox as a whole, we've seen um, a 50 to 20 percent increase in our traffic year over year, which translates, of course, to an increase in revenue. So we're feeling uh, very comfortable that um, the product we're offering fits these times and is a good solution for it. Excellent. Um, you mentioned uh, the, the, increase in, the increased interest uh, from uh, the VARs. One of the things you're doing here this week is, is sponsoring uh, the Reseller Day at IT Expo. Um, you know, what are you expecting from that? Well, there are a couple of messages that I want to get out. One is um, let the resellers know what SIP trunking is, the difference between it and voice over IP. The second thing is let them know this doesn't change their business model. This is incremental to their business model. If they're still going to sell their current hardware platforms, want to be a consulting organization, adding SIP trunking just adds another arrow to the quiver. It's an opportunity to just create this long-term stream of uh, revenue. The other thing that we decided to do this for was Verizon just recently decided to announce their voice over IP product. And it was interesting because here's a company announcing a new product First of all, it costs them next to nothing to deliver the product. But the price for the new product is the same as if you had a TDM service. So that was kind of interesting. And then the second thing was they then announced, and I think you may have seen this, a number of press releases to insist that the product was not as good as their TDM product. Um, we want to say this. The product is less expensive. The product has near the same quality as TDM. Most of our businesses never see a difference. To say it's exactly the same, well, I'm a 20-year guy in telecom. It's not exactly the same. But to put you between two phones, one TDM and one SIP, you won't be able to tell the difference. And it's important for the, for the community to understand how far IP communications have come. Good. One last thing. Uh, you know, I don't know if you know this. We've got uh, Rich Tarani at the show this, uh, this time. Uh, under heavy security, given what happened uh, with the kidnapping uh, incident last time. Can we expect to see uh, IP Man or anything from IP Man at this show? At this show, um, we did release uh, IP Man saving a um, small business owner uh, with audio codes, using the audio codes platform. So if you go to IP Man, uh, episode five, you will see, um, see that. The other thing is before the end of the month, We've been holding back on releasing Echo. Echo will be announced. She, she has her own episode. And um, you can look forward to seeing her this month. 
fantastic. Uh, check out all the IP Man uh, episodes at IPManAdventures.com. And uh, for more on uh, what Broadbox is doing around SIP trunking, check out uh, Broadbox's IP communications community uh, right on uh, TMCNet.com. David, thank you very much for joining us today. We've Th been uh, talking with Broadbox's David Bird. Thank you very much, Eric.